Okay, that's bad words. You know that. Hi, it's Freya here. Well, people have problems with DLSS in Escape for Dark Ops. They don't have the FPS boost they are supposed to have. In this video, we're gonna show you another feature from NVIDIA that you can use, the so-called DLDSR. If you combine DLDSR with DLSS, in some way, you can say, you push or force the graphic card to start using DLSS proper. So you, in the end, gonna have something that looks like pure magic. So from now, the DLSS is gonna handle the anti-aliasing. And the second feature from NVIDIA, the DLDSR, gonna render the game in 1440p, but output it as 1080p. That's so called downsampling. This means you're gonna play Escape from Tarkov in 1440p on your 1080p monitor. We are doing this to optimize the usage of your graphic card, but also to have DLSS work better in the end. So if you have a lot of extra GPU power that I think a lot of people have, this is a really good way to use it. Open Escape from Tarkov and click Settings, then Graphics. We are not changing resolution yet because we can't. You have to activate DLDSR in NVIDIA Control Panel first. But let's change NVIDIA Reflex. It should be on, or on and post. And also before we continue, check out the updates for your graphic card. And now in the NVIDIA Control Panel, under 3D Settings, choose Advanced 3D Image Settings. And then go to Magic 3D Settings. Under Global Settings, Scroll down to DSR factors and check the boxes for 1440 and 1620p. Click OK and then apply. The computer will change settings for a while. And after this, go back to the escape from Tarkov. gonna start by actually changing the screen mode from full screen to borderless. You have to do this if you are using OBS because otherwise you will lose the picture but if you are a regular player you should go for full screen. Then screen resolution we have two more options now and we're gonna go for 1440p. And the last thing we have to change is the NVIDIA DLSS settings from off to quality. If you're a regular player, it's the same here. Go for performance if you want. You're gonna have more FPS, but you will not have that really crispy view. Now we are back in NVIDIA control panel. Under manage 3D settings, you can now choose DSR smoothness. 33% is default. But you can adjust this to whatever you want. So try it out and see what suits your best. Let's just take a quick look at the specific program settings in NVIDIA control panel for Escape from Tarkov. You can read up every setting specifically in the program, what it will do. If you have more questions about this, please join my Discord and I will do my best to answer you.
So the most important one is power management mode, preferred fresh rate and filtering texture quality. Finally, let's talk about all the other settings in Escape from Tarkov very short. Screen resolution 2560 by 1440. You know why we are using this. Crispy look. Screen mode. Always full screen for best performance. Use only borderless if you have to. Borderless lower the FPS and can also lower quality. Texture quality. High. Shadows quality. Low. Blends in a little bit better because all of the layers of green in game. Though, personal preference. Object LOD quality stands for level of details. This is above how far you will see an object close to you and also how deal type is gonna look. Higher settings lower the FPS. Personal preference. Overall visibility. Around 1K is enough. You don't have to see more of the surrounding area. Also eat a lot of performance. Anti-strophic filtering and anti-aliasing. DLSS handle this now. Our old settings were TAA. Looks good and don't take a lot of resources. About anti-strophic filtering, it's affect how sharp the textures gonna look at distance. Resampling automatically off when using DLSS and DLDSR. NVIDIA DLSS quality. For more FPS, choose balance or performance instead. Though it's not for sure it's gonna be a bigger difference, but quality will drop drastically. HBAO. Game looks more realistic by using this, eating a lot of resources. I keep mine on low. You should do the same or use off. In the end, personal preference. SSR, reflections of water, tricky one. Depending on weather and time of the day, keep it off until the setting itself is more consistent. Saves also FPS to have it off, personal preference. Nvidia Reflex, reduces game latency. Also unlock unlimited frames. Use on or on and boost. Sharpness. Used 1.1 before but with DLSS and DLDSR. Change it to real low and adjust it more precise in NVIDIA. Lobby FPS limit and game FPS limit already maxed out. At last, high quality color are used. And see no bigger difference in FPS. You can have it low, so be aware of that. Grass shadows, cause all are different kind of colors, especially green. In my opinion, it's actually easier to see people, and it looks better on screen. In the end, personal preference, the stream looks better. Set blur, blurriness when moving. Turn it off to save resources. Chrome aberrations. If you not want to have blurry picture, turn it off. Noise. Created the same as the ones before. Turn it off. MIP streaming. Can help you with high usage of VRAM. Try to turn it on only if you have problems with the texture in game. Flash indicator. What the fuck is that? Turn it off. Let's end with some short clips from Shoreline.
Hello to all folks. If you have some questions, please join my Discord or leave a comment. Thanks for watching. For more information, see the description down below.